My name is Dr. Martin Kittle and I'm a community surgeon in Maidenhead, England. I do a lot of minor surgical procedures and I do a lot of stitches and I'm going to show you how to remove stitches safely. There are three stitches I will discuss. One is a so-called interrupted suture. An interrupted suture is the most commonly used stitch in the world. The other two stitches I will discuss are one, a horizontal mattress suture, and two, a vertical mattress suture. A horizontal mattress suture gives a superb cosmetic result. A vertical mattress suture supports wounds that need stronger support. Both of them I use frequently, and again, they will be covered in the following video. Now, you need two instruments to remove stitches. One of them is just the disposable forceps. That's what a disposable forceps looks like. Sometimes you get in the stitch remover kits also plastic forceps. And the second instrument is a scalpel. Now, usually that kind of shape of scalpel is the easiest for stitch removal, although normal scalpels will also work, but they are just a bit hooked and they're just a bit easier to get under the stitches. So that's what you need for stitch removal. So first of all, I'll show you how to remove an interrupted stitch or interrupted suture, as we say. So you basically pick it up, you pull it up a little bit, and you just take that hooked instrument and go underneath and just pull it out. It's that simple. I'm going to repeat this process with the second stitch again. I have moved the uh, whole camera now, so I'm going to pick this up again for you. And I show you, and this is a proper nylon suture. You go underneath the uh, stitch and you just take it and pull the whole stitch away. Sometimes I like to use different stitches. So this is actually quite an interesting stitch because it's called a uh, horizontal mattress suture. Uh, it's a very nifty type of suture because it's basically a long the wound on both sides and it holds the wound together nicely without putting so much pressure on the edges of the wound. So again, you have got two options here. So the first option is to go under this side or you could go under this side of the stitch. Now this one is the very safe side. So if you go underneath here again with your stitch removal kit, you just pull up and then you remove the stitch with your forceps from this side. Very simple and it's gone. So you've actually removed two stitches for the price of one with this horizontal mattress suture removal. However, sometimes with the horizontal mattress sutures, the skin can be a bit buckled and this end can be a bit buried in the skin and you might not be able to see it like last time when I moved it out. So if you can't see this and you can really only see uh, the end of the stitch like here, then you just pull that up and put your instrument under this side and just cut it only on one side. Don't cut it on both sides, otherwise you'll never get a stitch out of the wound. Just cut it on one side and then pull out a stitch and it's just simply done the same way. Now finally I will show you how to remove a so-called vertical mattress suture. Now vertical mattress sutures or vertical mattress stitches are a really good stitch when a lot of stability is required because what it does is the outside goes deep in the wound and you can pull the lower parts of the tissues together and the upper bit closes the wound. So a vertical mattress suture is an excellent stitch for a wound that has a lot of pressure or tension on it, as we call it. So again, it's very simple. You, you take, if you can, interrupt the stitch under here, but you can also interrupt it under here. So let's just say this is easily available on this side and you can see the end of the stitch. Just take your knife and just interrupt it there. And then you pull the stitch out with the forceps like this. All removed, all done. 
However, sometimes a vertical matcha suture might not be as obvious and you might actually find that it's a little bit more buried and looks a bit more like that. So this side of the stitch you can almost not see how it's buckled or buried in the skin. So again, just very important only to interrupt it on one side. So again, lift it up as much as you can and try to ease your thing underneath, even if you have to dig into the skin a bit and interrupt it. And now, as you can see slowly, it will pull out all parts of the stitch very safely. Again, don't cut both sides because if you cut both sides, the rest of the stitch will stay in the skin, but otherwise it's very safe and straightforward and you can't make a mistake. Thank you for listening to this stitch removal video. If you still have questions, please call us on our number 07973 That's obviously only for our own patients. Otherwise, go to the provider where you had your minor surgical procedure done. Thank you.